Hello everyone, I'm Sherry and you're watching Lessons Learned. Welcome back to the Monday Morning Quilt Chat. I'm Sherry and I'm here in my she shed where I do all my quilting and sewing. And today we're just going to talk about what's going to happen this week and my sewing and quilting world and I hope this will give you some inspiration and ideas as well and a couple of things that I want to go over first of all is next Saturday is National Quilting Day that's March the 19th 2022 and I looked that up on the website if you type in National Quilt Day 2022 there's links there and I like the way uh, it explained what that really was, other than just the obvious National Quilt Day. It says, National Quilting Day recognizes quilt makers and their quilt making abilities. The word quilt comes from the Latin word culcita, C-U-L-C-I-T-A, which means stuffed sack. It became adapted to the English language from the French word quilte. C-U-I-L-T-E. Not sure if I pronounced that right in French. I can speak Spanish, but I can't speak French. Quilting practices can be found in almost every area of the world, and it is celebrated on the third Saturday in March every year. The National Quilting Association started National Quilting Day in 1991, and since then it has grown into a global celebration for all quilt lovers and makers. So in honor of that day, I'm going to complete a quilt. I'm going to start and complete a quilt on that date. So will it be a full bed size quilt? No, I don't think I could accomplish that. But I do have something picked out that I'm going to do. And I have a charm pack and a couple of other fabrics to put together a quilt. This is the Hidden Cottage Minky Kim from Riley Blake. And here's the back so you can see all the different fabric selections on there. There's 42 squares in there. And the pattern that I have selected is this. And I'm only going to do three, a row of three to make a um, table topper or a table runner. So I'm going to do that. Uh, it's just going to use five inch, the five inch squares from the charm pack and put a little bit of sashing and corner stones uh, around those and in between those. And yes, I'm going to um, put the batting in, the backing, and quilt it all in one day. So stay tuned to see if I'm able to accomplish that. That will be out on Saturday, early or late. We shall see. Don't know. <laughs> we'll see how that works out. Uh, another thing that I wanted to go over was um, crumb quilting. I'm sure some, some of you have noticed that I had a piece of crumb quilting back here on my design wall that you've been seeing. And I worked on that over the weekend some. I got another, I don't know, probably 12 by 18 piece done. And it makes a really nice little table runner size. I think I originally told you guys that I was just working on putting a bunch together and then I was going to cut it into like nine inch squares and maybe sash it or something. I'm not sure. This has just turned out to be such a cute little whimsical um, table runner, table topper, I'm not, I don't know. But something I wanted to say about it is, um, shouldn't we all be crumb quilting? I mean, shouldn't this be a WIP on the, on the repeat constantly? I don't know, I just got in the mood this weekend to work on it some. I don't work on it every week, but it, it is a real stress reliever. And it's not real quick to do, actually. It's, it kind of takes a lot of time to put those things together. Uh, I have one of these cubes. 
and it's in a, a shelving system that these just fit in. So when I have little scraps, I just stick them in this little handle in the hole. That way I don't have to pull the whole thing out. And it's, it's getting quite a bit in there. Now, yes, I do have another stash of scraps, but they're bigger scraps. These are like, you know, maybe an inch at the smallest. And uh, I just make my crumb quilting out of those. So shouldn't we all be quilt crumb quilting? Because we always have crumbs, right? Shouldn't we just always be crumb quilting? I don't know. Give me your opinion. I think it's a would be a good practice just to kind of keep that going forever because we will forever have scraps if we sew. One last thing I want to bring out is the pictures of your finished product projects. Let me see. I'm going to get these open here for you. I've just got a couple. This is Nola Factor. Her name is Nola. Um, let's see if I can get it open here. She says, I'm one of your new subbies. I thought I'd send a photo of the quilt I'm working on now. As I mentioned in a comment, it's all made with scraps that were remnants from my mom sewing back in the 1970s when she was making all my clothes. This is my first full-size quilt and it's going to be king-sized. After I got pretty far into it, I realized I should not have started with something this large, but I was already into it, so I'm trying my best to get it done. This is the layout, but the blocks are not sewn together yet in this photo. She'll send another photo when it's complete, complete. So, yeah, we can see all sorts of 70s themed fabrics there. Not necessarily themed 70s, but you can see, you know, the patterns that, that we wore back in the 70s. I was just... I was just a kid when I was in the 70s, but <laughs> I do remember seeing a lot of these types of, of fabrics. That's really cool. That's that's a vintage quilt. I really, I really like it. Good job, Nola. And then Lucy Flores, she has a version of the Darlene Michaud quilt. And uh, she did a beautiful job. It's very... Um, uh, light in color. I'll show you a picture there. And then uh, it looks like her feature blocks were mm, balloons, flowers, mostly flowers. I see bicycles. Lots of different things in there. And then she put a, it looks like a, comes off as pink in the picture, but it looks like a red and white sashing along with some black sashing and the red and white again on the black or on the back rather and then she just straight line quilted it i can see great job that looks fantastic let me see what she says just two pictures there she says she was happy with the end result and wanted it wanted to share so yeah you guys send me your stuff i love to share these things and we all want to share our work don't we not everybody gets to see what we're doing uh, so you know our friends here on on youtube uh, we can share it with each other so uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't um, statistics show that only half the people that watch youtube videos are actually subscribed so if you go ahead and sub hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when new videos are, are coming out. And speaking of new videos coming out, not only the National Quilt Day video will be coming out on Saturday, but I'll also have the first uh, video on the uh, boho, batik boho throw we're going to do. I'm still working on the patterns coming along. And probably Tuesday or Wednesday, we'll see the, the introduction to that and how you can get ready. So have a great week quilting, and I'll see you soon. Bye!